Hello everybody, it's Ige Gaming here, and today we're going to be doing a episode of something brand new on my channel, and it's going to be redstone builds, and I built this completely by myself, I'm pretty proud of myself, it is 10 by, I think 5, yeah, 10 by 5, and it's a 2 by 3 piston door, and it's pretty cool, and I really like it, so hopefully you guys will too. And how it works, um, we are in the Minecraft 1.8 Pre 2, so it does work um, for 1.8 Pre 2, um, or it's the latest one out at the at the moment, and it is eight. Um, oh, what am I saying? August 28, 2014. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it and how it works. It goes like that. You can come on over here in your special room, get your lapis and your redstone blocks and have a great time and how it works it's really really simple no it's not it took me probably three hours to do I'm terrible at redstone but it's really cool and I really like it and hopefully you guys will too um, from a walking start it works um, and I think from a running start it works from eight blocks away and from a walking start it works from six blocks away so if you're running that's bad stuff because it's already open. <laughs> um, you're running and it should be perfect. And it's kind of slow, I realize that, but it is really smooth and it's opening and closing, which is really good. And how it works is we got lots of redstone torches back here and we have the repeaters. And you want to sit, and I'm going to do a, a quick building of this. I've never done this before and it's first time trying, so let's see how it goes. Um, Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to have your, let me show you how it works first, and you're going to have your T flip flop, you don't have to have this, you can just use the lever if you want to, I just had it because of the pressure plates and show you how far you could run, and T flip flop, what it does, if you've never heard of it, it's you push this to the side, it turns it off, and once it gets a redstone signal source for like a second, and then once it gets another one, it switches the block back, and underneath it, it has a redstone torch, which powers the block, which powers your redstone torches and the rest of your redstone. Over on the piston side, we have our pistons back here with all. These these back here have two ticks, and these guys have two ticks as well. I don't know why I said one tick. And this goes up here, just like so. And you're going to have your little 4x4 four four if you want to. No big deal. And you're going to have what you have. And it's going to work great. It should. <laughs> um, what I did with the convertering was just converted the redstone torches to these redstone torches, which carried the signal up top and controlled that as well. And these back here have torches. And that is powered by that. And these turn on the bottom two pistons. And how this works is it's a bud switch. Uh, these two on the top, they update the first two from this one, and it's really nice. It goes really well. It's pretty fast, and let's go ahead and get right into the building. All right, guys, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to make a 10 by 10 area, and let's go to start just like so, and I'm going to go ahead and build the main structure, just like the one I had before. Um, well, I guess this isn't really necessary. Let's just go ahead and build the basics of it. It uses eight, ten uh, redstone repeaters that I know of. Let me double check. Nope, it uses way more. Twelve, fourteen. It uses fourteen redstone repeaters. <laughs> Apologize for that. And you have eighteen sticky pistons, which is kind of a lot. And I know there's probably an easier way to do this. But this is what I did, and I haven't really seen any videos. I looked for some videos, I didn't really see any. So it made me happy that I made something kind of new. And it's my first redstone thing, really. Um, not like my first, but are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. <laughs> um, it's my first like not redstone build, but first redstone video. I have done a little bit of redstone. I love Etho. He's really good with redstone. He does a lot of practical builds just like a guy named mumbo jumbo if you guys ever watched him he's really good my nico subscribe to him i definitely recommend that I shouldn't have put these here first apologize for that and put these here 
like so. And what you're going to do is you're going to fill whatever you want here and you go like that. And then you're going to get your things down here. And let's go ahead and build a little area out and I'll be right back. Also guys, one thing about this snapshot, I noticed this when I've been building underground a lot of the time, is if you tilt a certain way, as you can see my right hand corner, you can see like the void. It's really, really strange. It's happened once with the blue when it's daytime, and it made me look like, it, it, I thought there was like water all over my redstone was, because I have water in that back gold room. Oh boy, it flipped. I was like, no, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, because I was working on the timing, and the timing kind of sucks. It, 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 it took me a while to do the timing, no joke. I know it sounds pathetic, but it's really, really true. Um, like I said, not the pro at Redstone. You go watch Seth Bling if you're the pro, if, if you want to watch a pro. But I do know some of the basics, and I like to do what's practical. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to put two Redstone repeaters here and here, just like this, and like so. And you're going to put... Make sure you have this covered up like that, and you're going to put your two whoops, redstone torches right there. You're going to put your next two repeaters like that. You're going to get your andesite or whatever you're going to be using, and put those on there. And as you can already see, these two, these all six of these pistons are extended. And what you're going to do is going to put these here, put the same exact thing, just like that. And now it's all extended. It's going to bug the crap out of me. Stop that. <laughs> and you're going to go over here, and you're going to dig down. All right, guys, so I went ahead, and I finished the basement area down here. And what you're going to do is you're going to build it just like this. Um, if you guys need help, I, you can leave in the comments, and I'll show you how to do it personally if you want me to. And I'll even do Skyping. <laughs> I'm, I'm down with that. Whatever you guys want to do. Um, it's not the best possible one, but it's really simple. And I would definitely recommend it. It, it. it explains redstone a lot better than any other one. If And it helps you learn redstone. And building things like this actually helps you learn how to do redstone, which is the main part of doing redstone is to learn how to do it. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a torch and all your stuff. And you're going to put a redstone torches under the middle. And you're going to have a 2x2 two two area where these, these, things, these guys are right here. And this is on the 1th and 10th block because it's... 10 blocks long and you're going to go over down here and you're going to put a torch there there and then redstone dust and then you're going to have your two torches underneath which inverts it and allows this to be off so and then these right here are going to power these which turns them off and then turns the one on top on which activates everything if that makes sense <laughs> sorry if I'm going too fast and what we're going to be doing is uh, this right here we're going to put two repeaters and we're going to put this like so and we're going to do this and this and this and we're going to have here and here redstone dust redstone dust and redstone dust and redstone dust and we're going to put two torches right here on the top of that and it, and after that we're going to put our Thing going on like so, like that, and we're gonna put our redstone dust. And I probably made this a little bit more dust than it probably should be. I'm sure you could probably do it without doing all that, but I kind of like to make stuff even if that's weird. But I guess that's what Minecraft's about, that's, in my opinion. It is also, guys, it is five blocks wide if you consider the wall, which it's gonna be a flush, it's gonna be flush just like that one right over there. I'm gonna add your redstone dust and over and up just like so and redstone dust and it should work let's double check <laughs> I'm not good at these guys I've just started don't hate me let's go ahead and get a pressure plate or let's get a button like me I get a button okay and it should be right here nope right here where's the thingy Where's the redstone? Okay, it's right here. <laughs> Made a mess. <laughs> uh, just like so. And it works just like that. Really good system. And I will go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's completely flush. 
it is that's the main reason why I like it is because it's completely flush and you don't always have two by three piston doors that are flush because that is pretty difficult to do and I'm glad I was able to do it and show you guys and if you want to have this just like this you're just gonna make a T flip-flop I showed you that a second ago it's gonna work just like that but it's gonna stay on and just to show you guys let's get a lever that is not a lever <laughs> that is a kiv <laughs> we don't need a kiv we need a lever and we're gonna flip that not there not there there it is <laughs> and it works just like so and it's really good I definitely recommend building it for your LP worlds or whatever you're doing I definitely recommend it it's a lot of fun and I will see you guys later bye bye